I'm going to show you how to back flush the water lines in your house. If you watched how to shock the well with bleach, you probably noticed some gray water. It's going to go away in a couple of days, but you want to back flush all your lines in your house at least once a year. I do mine about every three months because I change my water filter about every three months. This also helps get rid of the sediment in your pressure tank. Getting rid of that helps to extend the life of your pressure tank, and trust me, that's not an easy DIY project and it's not cheap to have done. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, go to your electrical box, find the one that says well, it's a double breaker, it's two and four. Go down, switch it to the off, okay? That's all you need to do. Turn the faucet on, you just only have to do the cold side. Next, with the power turned off, your well won't kick on. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see, I have a water softener system. Let's go ahead and turn off the water to that. Open your main line. That will allow the water to come down through your house. Pass your water filter. Down to your pressure tank. Turn the valve on that leads out from your pressure tank, okay? I ran a hose over my sub pump. Turn it on. Go ahead and let that run. What I usually do is I'll watch this as soon as I see like air coming through it. I know that all the water's out. You can also tell once the water stops running just by the sound. If you have a water filter, go ahead and change it at this point. It's probably a good idea. As you can see, with me back, back flushing it and bleaching the well, it's gotten pretty dirty. With the water line flushed out and your water filter changed, go ahead Shut all your valves, change everything back to the way it was before you started. Turn the power back on. Leave the faucet and the sink on to let the air out. Let that run for a while till you stop here and there. Then you know you're done. As always, thank you for watching.